G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jono, thank you so much for joining me. I've started putting my Kemper rigs on the Kemper player. So I wanna take you through a little bit about how that's going um, and you know, a couple of interesting points along the way. It's also very, very easy and I love that. So let's jump into it. Right, I've got everything hooked up now. Rig manager is open, the Kemper player is plugged in. Um, and right, so you can see here, uh, these, these two profiles here are mine. Uh, this was just for testing for, for, um, for this video. But let's say you wanna put your uh, rigs into the Kemper player. So let's go to local library. This is a way to do it. Um, <clears throat> local library, now find your rigs. So these are mine. Uh, let's go, let's go this one. Let's go this amp, JMP mod, all at four. Now this is my 1959 HW from Marshall. Uh, that's been modded um, and it was profiled with all the dials at four, not four o'clock, number four on the dials. I thought, why not? You don't often see Marshalls um, played that way. So I profiled it and I reckon it sounds pretty sweet. I reckon that does sound awesome. Uh, here's it without the green scream. Very fat. Uh, so yeah, obviously that green scream kind of shells off a little bit of the bottom end, tightens it up a bit. Yeah, love it. So, um, a couple of things to notice. If I pulled this rig up on my stage, you'd see obviously a lot more effect slots. Uh, and the noise gate you'd see in a slot as well. Here, the noise gate is on the input, uh, which is very good, I like that. But I wanna make this a little bit more accessible for me to use in a gig situation, or maybe it's a studio situation, that I'm gonna play a lot of lead on. Because uh, there's a lot of gain on available, so I wanna make it a little bit more ambient, um, so I feel a little bit more home, at home um, under the fingers for whether I'm playing live or at this studio gig, right? So we've got the easy reverb already here, right? So for why not purposes, let's just put the delay before the reverb, give it a try, you might like it. So up the mix a little bit, it sounds like this. Love that. With the reverb, I'm just gonna take the mix up as well. So let's try this. Let's go a little bit more. Yeah, super happy with that. Lots of decay, but it's not getting in the way too much at all. Now, I'm happy with that sound, so all I wanna do is put that in the profiler. So make sure you have a bank that you wanna to go to. You can hit store in rig. It's gonna give you this. We want bank 10, let's go slot three. So we're gonna store it over this one. Right, and there it is. Jumps you straight back to your profiler. On my Kemper player, I'm really not too fussed about um, saving over any of the rigs or anything like that um, to put my own in because I'm really like a guy that, a player that, you know, likes one amp to do a lot of things. So I'd rather profile one amp in many different ways with many different effects um, and have those as the options rather than, um, you know, have four different amps or five different amps on the one bank. So this, the way that I'm doing it here really is the kind of, it's the easier way, but it's also the way that works for me as a player.
more I play the Kemper player, um, the more I'm finding that I'm adopting uh, the less is more strategy. Um, I think sometimes as guitarists, maybe even as studio engineers or whatever, um, if there's a gap, you tend to just fill it for the sake of filling it. Um, but yeah, as a player, sometimes it's the notes that you don't play that makes things great. And I'm really finding that you know, just having two effect slots on the Kemper player is more than enough. The legacy delays and the legacy reverbs work really, really well together. You can get such a wide variety of sounds out of them. Um, and you've got so many slots to be able to have different levels of things. Um, however, I'd still love the morph feature to be available on the player. It can definitely do it. So please, Kemper, send the update. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you feel inclined. Also head over to my website, johnoisguitar.com.au for some Kemper profiles. And I'll see you on the next video.